with more than 35 nations, 30,000 people, and a million components working together, we share one simple goal, to illuminate the way to new energy. For 14 years, the Agence ITER France Welcome Office has helped many hundreds of new ITER employees and their families acclimate to their new lives in Provence. As part of the French Atomic Energy Commission of the neighboring Carrache facility, the Welcome Office helps new hires arrange work visas and find homes in nearby cities and villages. But perhaps most importantly, the Welcome Office is a bridge connecting ITER staff with opportunities to immerse themselves in the language and culture of both France and their new international workplace environment. As the Welcome Office, we are here to, in addition to the administrative uh, stuff and so on, to create a new link with the people. We love sharing our own culture and this is why we organize uh, dedicated events, mostly focused on the French language, but when you want to learn uh, language, you need to learn the culture of the language. Well, we organized this uh, chandelier breakfast for the newcomers, the recent newcomers of uh, ITER and the ITER Project Associates, uh, just to introduce them to the French culture, the French eating culture that is so important for French people. And the chandelier is uh, also a nice way to share a basic recipe, show them, show them how to do it so they can do it at home later and connect, meet each other and to get to know each other better. There's a lot of, uh, lot of expertise gathered together here in ITER. Uh, most of it is technical, but we've got this huge cultural um, pool to draw on and it's a wonderful opportunity for people to learn from each other, not just the technical side, but also um, uh, the cultural side. We, uh, we have to promote the French language because that's their new environment their, for their daily life. This is the language they need to learn. But of course, uh, English is essential. So this is why we uh, have uh, set up some English lunches to, to help people to improve their English and to exchange and in fact to create links between people as well. The idea of just sitting down to eat just gently getting on with conversation, which is exactly how the languages were designed to be used. They were never designed to be used in the classroom. Uh, they were designed to be picked up gradually by people saying, can you pass me that, can you pass me that, I like this. Using the same simple phrases over and over again, we get people to, to join in, to ask questions when they don't understand something. Uh, very recently I noticed that there is this uh, English lunch I realize that it's a good op opportunity to improve my English. It, it does take uh, courage to do this. English is, uh, of course, the common language in the ITER, but the, of course uh, it is very uh, difficult for, for us to, to speak uh, English fluently, but the, now it is uh, the, the good opportunity to learn. It's uh, interesting to practice uh, out of the work, and be able to understand the English spoken by many, many different nations. This is what it is very interesting, working in the Welcome Office, but as well very challenging, because the way of life, the way of thinking is quite different. And sometimes it's difficult to communicate. In the uh, work environment, we can speak English and we can, we can understand each other. Technical English is quite very close and um, definite. Conversation is different. You get uh, expressions, uh, you understand better uh, in French les nuances uh, <laughs> in a language. Coming to work at ITER is like coming to visit all the countries in the world. The, the countries in the world have come to visit me. Uh, it's a very easy way to travel and um, they might be called lunches in English but of course the ideas that are being expressed are coming from Chinese, from Japanese, from all the different nationalities who are sitting around the table. So I'm learning new things. When people really want to, to make a connection, we learn from each other. We love the personal uh, connection with these people, with their culture so far away from ours. I can hear that my English is not so good, but <laughs> I practice. <laughs> that is the principle. You may know that I'm very shy, but I uh, I try to encourage myself to join this 
big opportunity. What is very important is that people can communicate with us, but they can talk to the other people, to the other newcomers, you know, oh, you just arrived this morning, you too, yeah, okay. And that something ha happens in that moment. You, you feel good when you see that. So far on Eater Now, we've explored some of the human and cultural aspects of the project. Next, we'll spend each week diving deeper into the scientific and technical side of things. So stay tuned, and we'll see you next time on Eater Now.